Hi guys and welcome to my new video. In this new video, I'm going to be talking to you about some of the famous people that I have met. Now, when I mean famous, I'm not talking like A-list celebrities like Ariana Grande or Cheryl Cole or anyone like that. To me, a famous person is someone that is A, verified on a social media platform, B, does something whether it's educational, motivational, and C, someone that's got a good following, someone that is spoken about or someone that has a lot of positive vibes going around them. Now, other than at concerts where you do like meets and greets afterwards and that sort of stalking celebrities around London, the two main places that I've met famous people are at Summer in the City, which is the YouTube convention event that happens every single year. I think it's happened for like the last 11 years now, and I went to my first one in 2017. That is where I met quite a lot of famous people, as well as a lot of my internet friends, originating from a group called Copgrats. I'm not going to go into too much detail into that, but it was more or less... Actually, you know what? I might as well explain the story. So, there was a bunch of YouTubers. Everyone... No one knew each other. Everyone was making videos and stuff, and I found someone on YouTube, so I've started talking to them. They've added me to a group chat, and obviously everyone has just individually been added to this group chat. So there's about 30 of us having a chat. I'm in videos about this, I'm from this area, I'm this old. One of the girls leaves, and everyone else becomes a lot closer together. We make a separate group chat, add about 15 of us into it, and we call the group Cobgrats. I think it was a mistake. Someone was supposed to put Cob Congrats, like it's saying congratulations, put Cobgrats, and then the name just stuck. At this Summer of the Sea event, Sitsi 2017, not only did I meet a load of them, but I also met a load of famous people. The other event where I met quite a lot of famous people was at an event called Soccer 6, which again is an event that's been running every year for I don't know how many years now. It's a football event where like people from shows and programmes and all of that stuff go competing against each other. So I went in 2016, you had people from like The Apprentice playing people from TOWIE or people from the Great British Bake Off playing against people from The Apprentice or they like mix and model everyone up. I'm just going to go through a quick list of the people that I've met. I've got three columns worth. I've got my Sitsi lot, I've got my Soccer 6 lot and I've got my other. I do have pictures to prove all or to prove most of the people I've met up with. So if you don't believe me, ask for the pictures. I probably will put the pictures in this video as well just to prove it. So let's go back to 2016. A list of people that I met and briefly who they are, why I class them as people that I like. But Anto Sharp, literally everyone just knows him as Ooh, Stormsea Salam is going straight in my bath. Yep, that's basically what he did. He did loads of vines where he was making things sound really, really dirty, put them in his basket, making people laugh, and he is a really funny guy. Gabs is a girl from Britain's Got Talent. It's Gabs with a Z, not Gabs with an S. She was on Britain's Got Talent in 2000 and something. She sang, put your lighters in the air if you've ever felt scared. Cause you've lost the one. You've lost Juan. That's Juana. She was a fantastic singer. I think she's like, 20 now or 19 she's of age but yeah so i met her a lovely girl it's good to just finally actually start meeting people from programs that you've seen on the tv you've seen online but actually then get to see in the flesh robin reagan i wouldn't really call her celebrity but she's got 66,000 on twitter and she goes to lots of like singing events and all of that stuff she's got a youtube channel at soccer 6 in 2016 she had a broken leg so i just knew her as robin with the broken leg and yeah really really nice girl which is lovely to speak to her elmo films otherwise known as spencer he also has a youtube channel he is just a really really genuine guy as well and when i searched him on youtube i was like oh my god i've met a verified youtuber and i was like oh my god like fanboying and everything pepper laughs he's the guy on facebook that does all these like funny videos he also does stuff on snapchat where he posts really really funny snapchats where he does the filter i think one of the filters he did he had it was the one with one eye so he was like oh i've got to get my eyes sorted out he's done something to his face he's got beaten up i don't know it was just very very funny at the time alien uncovered and there were five members they also performed i also filmed a few of their performances it's on my second youtube channel i remembered exactly who they were from x factor i couldn't remember all their names but I remembered who they were from X Factor. I just told them that I was like a massive fan. That was one of the good things. There was quite a few people from X Factor there. And obviously, I was and still am a massive fan of the show. I knew exactly who they were. I knew exactly where they came from. I recognised them all by their hair. Luke Friend, again, lovely, lovely, lovely lad. At this point, I think one of my mum's friends asked me to try and get a video. He was like, hey, whatever her name was. My name's Luke, blah, blah, blah. You think you know who I am, all of that stuff. I think I sent it to her and she blocked my number because she didn't know who I was. And then my mum explained to her that it was me and sent a video got the video for her and she's like oh love I'm so sorry oh darling I'm so sorry I was like honestly it's fine and then I think the week after or something I was literally sitting on the train I saw him just sitting next to me and I took a picture of him and put it on snapchat and I took a picture of him and put it on twitter tagged him in it and said I think I just saw you on the train mate such a big fan I didn't want to say hi obviously didn't want to like 
one embarrass him and cause like publicity and all of that but also just because I was a bit shy and then he followed me on Twitter which is fantastic I think I've still got a follow from him as well Janet Devlin again she was one of the women that I loved on X Factor in 2000 and I believe, blah, 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 2013 she was in the same year as Sam Bailey she was lovely and she still is lovely and I remember on the show she originally had like brown hair she was very very shy and now she's got bright orange hair, you cannot miss her. And she also has a YouTube channel as well, so do not forget to subscribe, Janet Space Devlin. Christian MJC, I don't actually know what the MJC bit stands for, but Christian MJC. I don't know what show he was on, but he did do a collab song with Lydia Lucy called True Colours, and there's been like four different remixes of that. I remember listening to the original, and I was like, I know who Lydia Lucy is, she's another person from X Factor. Not a reject, just someone that got to like the judges houses but not any further than that. I saw them in a song together and I was like, oh my god, they're both doing things, which was really, really cool. Jack Sims, so for those of you that don't know, lovely, lovely lad. I think he's 18 or 19, same as me. He's really, really fit, got a lovely voice and he's actually really, really nice to talk to. I love the fact that you've got a surname Sims. <laughs> like, it's just such a cool surname. Final two people that I met at Soccer 6 were Joseph Valente and Scott Saunders, two of the guys from The Apprentice. I recognised Joseph and Scott straight away. I think there was a few other Apprentice people there, but I didn't recognise them. So, they were the people that I met at Soccer 6. Definitely a variety of people. You had a mix of Britain's Got Talent, X Factor, YouTube, Facebook, that sort of thing, and obviously The Apprentice. And that's what I mean with the Soccer 6 and stuff like that. You do get a mix of talent and a mix of personalities, should we say. At Summer in the City, I did meet quite a few more people. I don't know if I've listed everyone here, other than my Cobb Gretz group, like the usual people that you always see in my Summer in the City videos, Snapchat, Instagram, all of that stuff. The actual famous people I met. So the first guy is Callum Ryan. Now, you may not know him. He's similar to, say, Jack Sims, Elmer Films, that sort of stuff. He's over 10K on YouTube, 15K or something on Instagram, and I don't know how much he's got on everything else. I bumped into him. I bumped into Ben Towers, who is an entrepreneur. He's like 18 years old, and he's running a massive business. And I was like, to both of them, like, I need to get a picture. I don't know how the hell they know each other, but I asked Ben, right, can you get a picture of me and Callum? And Callum, can you get a picture of me and Ben? I also met Riyad Khalaf. Now, for those of you that don't know who he is, he's a LGBT promoter slash sort of thing, social media influencer, and I think he does a lot for like charities, children, raising awareness, mental health, all that sort of thing. The main reason that I found him and the reason that I know about him and his channel, one, he's gay. So I obviously stumbled across that side of YouTube. But two, he also came out to his parents on YouTube, put a video up about it. And I remember sitting down, thinking to myself, I really, really need to like think about exactly who I am. There's no point me lying to the world and saying I'm gay or I'm bi if I'm not. I remember watching that video. Her mum didn't seem too fussy. She was a bit upset because she didn't understand the whole situation. But I remember the dad was like, no, you're not. Like, get over it, son. You're straight and everything. He was crying on camera. Riyadh was crying on camera. I was obviously crying at the video. And I did rewatch it again earlier this year. And it did actually bring me to tears. I even think about it, it's just... It's just upsetting to think about how people can just be so judgmental when they don't know anything about it. I stumbled across his video and I'm really, really glad I did. I've met him three times now. I've met him at Sitsi 2017, met him at Pride in London 2017, and I also met him for the trailer slash pilot thing for his show, which I don't know if it's gone up, whether it's gone live or anything like that, but I did meet him at the pilot for his television show. Dan and John, again from the same side of YouTube, a gay couple, over 40k subs I believe, I think they're over 40k subs now. I would say I prefer one to the other but I love them both just as much. There's just so much compassion between the two of them, so much love between the two of them. They may get hate every single day about being gay and about having YouTube channels, uh, channels? about being gay and having YouTube channels and all of that sort of stuff. They have managed to get over it and I'm so happy for them. Hedy Clark, so for those of you that don't know, Dodie Clark is a YouTuber. Hedy Clark is her little sister. Obviously Dodie wouldn't go strolling around Summer in the City. Her sister was going on like the swingy slide or whatever, so we bumped into her, just said hi. Like we blessed the whole family. I think I put a clip in my Sitsi video where I was like, oh my god, I love you, I love you sister, I love your whole family. She was like, oh thank you, and then she dabbed. Marina Joyce, she's a bit of a controversial person. She was the girl that everyone thought got kidnapped by ISIS. I don't know whether it was her, I don't know whether it was her publicist, I don't know who it was, but there was a rumour going around saying that Marina Joyce got kidnapped by ISIS, and then her subs went up from like 500,000 to like 2 million or something like that, and then she just became well known, basically. It was all about some ghost thing or something in her like outfit ideas video. I haven't even got a clue, don't ask me. Brad Mattinson, so he was another one of the guys that I've seen on YouTube. He's got 20-something K, again, he's a really, really nice lad. I've only met him that one time at Summer in the City. I think I bumped into him several times, actually, but he was really, really nice. We'd been speaking on social media, like, for, like, 
half a year at least before that. We messaged each other on Twitter and Snapchat and all of that stuff. I was always messaging him saying, what tips do you have for YouTube? Do you think we're ever gonna meet? Like, where are you from? Do you wanna collab and all of that? It turned out he ended up sharing a hotel room with like Joe Tasker, Casper Lee, and proper famous YouTubers. And he couldn't obviously give details about it at the time, but it was just something that he is obviously working on. He, he's a lovely guy, honestly. Cause I remember I walked up to him in Summer and City when I, when I was like, I recognised that guy's hair from the back. I poked his shoulder and he goes, oh my god, it's so nice to see you here. And I was like, oh, it's so nice to see you too. Bambino Becky, I think she's got 9K on YouTube now. No way to 10K. I don't know where she's from. I think it, I think she's from Scotland. I want to say Scotland. She's got really, really attractive friends. She's really attractive herself. She does loads of like challenges, collabs, vlogs, all that sort of stuff on her channel. She was also on the Small YouTubers panel, which is bloody brilliant. To get on the panel was really, really difficult because they picked five and then they had like the extra person that they picked from the audience. Topless Baker, so obviously he's a baker that cooks topless. I've got a picture of him somewhere on my wall, but because I've got so many pictures, I'm not even gonna be able to show you. Again, a lovely, lovely guy. I've put him in my vlog. He seemed to appreciate that I appreciated him. Did a show where he was cooking something live, but I couldn't see it because I was in the small YouTubers panel. And yeah, I'm really like hoping he comes next year just so I can be like, right, I'm coming to a cooking show. When is it? When's it begin? I'll get there like half an hour early. Dean, I don't, Dean Dobbs. That was it. I was gonna say, I don't know what his surname is, it's Dean Dobbs. I think he's one half of Jack and Dean. I don't know who the Jack guy is, but I know Dean Dobbs. Watched a few of his videos. He's really, really cute. He's like four foot nothing. He's a really, really nice guy though. I remember near the end of Summer of the City, he was getting like bombarded with like fans and all the security were like, no, come on, we've got to get you guys out, we've got to go home. And he was really, really good to be able to have all those pictures and basically be like, to security, like up yours, I'm gonna get pictures with my fans. And then the final two people that I saw go quite well together, Saffron Barker and Flora Princess, otherwise known to Anastasia. I met Saffron Barker on the same ride that I met Hedy on, the spinny thing that is quite scary that I didn't actually go on because I hate roller coasters, but she looks really, really good. Flora Princess slash Anastasia, I met outside the actual Sitsi venue. I think it was her boyfriend or her brother she, she was walking with. So we, us like we were walking out and I saw her and I ran and I was like, Anastasia, can I get a picture? So I was like to the guy, right, do you mind just taking a picture of us? Got a picture. Like, right, can I have a phone back? Right, can we do a selfie now? Like, I always do that. If I'm getting a picture of someone, I'll get a couple of pictures of us, and then I'll get a couple of selfies, just so if the selfie's crap and the picture's good, or if the picture's good and the selfie's crap, then I've got like the, the alternatives to pick from. That was my whole load of people that I met at Summer in the City. Now, just in general, other people that I've met, X Factor people, Alex Haynell is Ben Haynell's brother from 2014, Fleuris, the runner-up from 2014, Betsy, Charlie and Parisa from Only the Young, who have actually now split up. I met Dermot O'Leary, but I didn't get a picture. I spoke to him behind the stage, and he basically said to me, look, like, I'm really busy, mate, like, I can't get a picture, but I'm glad you appreciate the show, and I'm glad you appreciate what I'm doing, or something along the lines of that. I also met Lily Allen. We were at a theatre show. I was in Not Together, like I was with my parents at a theatre show. I came outside for the smoking break or the advert break and I just see her sitting down on the steps having a little sing song with this old guy. And I was like, oh Lily, can I quickly just get a selfie? Is that okay? I've got a picture. What did I do? I deleted the picture and I cleared my phone. Like, What's wrong with me? I've just met Lily Allen. Camila Cabello, one of the girls from Fifth Harmony. I met Fifth Harmony, I, mean, I say I met them, I saw them through a, like, a gate. But Camila Cabello, I've actually got a picture to prove that I met her and I'm so happy that I met her. Jake Quickenden is from X Factor 2012 and from 2013. He, in 2012, got to like judges' houses, these sort of thing. Or maybe not even that, I think he got to the, the, wheel, the wheelchair six chair challenge and in 2013 he got to the live shows but went out and came like seventh or eighth or something he then went on to do a show in london with bailey mcconnell and bailey mcconnell was from britain's got talent but i didn't actually manage to get a picture of him jake stayed did loads of selfies with people and i said to him do you know who i am and he was like yeah yeah, yeah. are you brandon from twitter and i was like i oh, sure i'm brandon from twitter you follow me mate like you should know exactly who i am robbie j white again another one of these guys that does singing and stuff he's nearly got 10k on instagram i've met him a couple of times and he's a lovely guy. Like, he's literally just so nice to talk to. And he also did a, a live stream on Instagram a couple of like months ago, back in October. He lived me. Like he, we did a live together on Instagram, which was really really cool. I was really shook. Like I didn't really talk much, and when I was talking, I didn't make sense. I knew what I wanted to say, but it didn't come out as I wanted to say it. Again, the final two people that I met, I met them at the same time. Hobby Stewart, who is this fantastic YouTuber with 300,000 followers, and Beth and Ledley, otherwise now known as Ledley. So with Hobby Stewart. He started singing, vlogging, going on holiday and doing like fancy montage videos and stuff on YouTube five, six, seven years ago, something like that. I found a cover that he did of Diamonds 
by Rihanna originally and he changed one of the verses. I fell in love straight away and now every time I sing that song, I sing it like him. And then Jake announced that he was doing a London tour and the Hobby was gonna be his opening out thingy. So I've got the tickets and all of that, thinking, oh yeah, Hobby's gonna be there. Oh no, it ended up just being Jake and Bailey. But it was still a fantastic concert, believe it or not. But I was just, imagine if Hobby and Jake would have been there together and I got like, a little selfie with both of them. I would have died. I mean, if I met a little mix, that's fantastic. If I met Hobby and Jake at the same time, I would, I probably would not be here today. So Hobby did a, a concert way before that in Covent Garden, in London. Uh, Beth and Lee was his opening act, and then I met the two of them afterwards. I didn't smile. I was just a bit shook. I think I gave Hobby a letter as well, just a whole like a love letter saying, "Oh, I love you so much, and your voice is amazing, and all of that sort of stuff." But. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. These were all of the people that I've met so far. I still want to meet Little Mix. I still want to meet Louisa. I want to meet Julie Lipa, Hayley Steinfeld, Olivia O'Brien, Daya. The list goes on. Actually, Shawn Mendes. I want to meet Shawn Mendes. But I do hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you want more information about where I've met these people, how I've met these people, put it in the comments down below. If you've met any of these people, or if there's any celebrities that you've met, Put it down in the comments, I'd love to know who you've met and if there's a chance of being able to meet any of the people I went to meet, give me some details, tell me who to follow on like social media and stuff like that, who knows where celebrities are sort of thing and hopefully my dream will come true of meeting Little Mix. I've loved them since 2011 and I really do hope I can meet them. Anyway, thank you for watching, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe, get me to 1k and see you later, bye bye.